What's up guys, Sloppy Web Blow here doing some more Grand Theft Auto 5 with the AMD Fury X. We're using the newest drivers, the Catalyst 15.7 ones. Just came out a couple days ago. We're going to do DirectX 11. We're going to max the game out minus anti-aliasing. Uh, everything else is cranked up, okay? And we're also going to turn on advanced graphics for this video. So everything is on maximum. Now, let me let me explain this. When we do this video, uh, I get posts sometimes like, "Oh, you're you know you're pushing the the card too much." This is a six hundred and fifty dollar card, plus plus more than that. You know you can't even get them right now. Uh, that rivals the nine eighty Ti. So you know what? This you know if you're going to make a decision on buying a card, you want to know if the goddamn card can run the game maxed out. And I'm not going to take it easy on a card because you can go get a Ti which got six gigabytes of DDR five. Uh, look at this. Guys, look at this. You can't even make this up. Look at look at it. Look at the uh, look at the hitching right away. It's incredible. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, if you saw my last video, I just think that this card is it's a great card. It's just it's you know it's not. I wouldn't recommend it. I just honestly would not recommend this video card. I just don't know if AMD will bring out of the card what it can do. I just don't know it. I know Nvidia. You know they they make great cards. They make great drivers. They just do. And, um, it's, you know, it, it just doesn't run the way I think it could. Again, like I said, I've said a million times, I can't, I can't stand this game for the performance aspects. Oh, there's a, a screen flicker. You know, I, I don't, um, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking that this card should have more in it than it has. So we're on the highway here, and I mean, it's, it's running good now, but I mean, wow. The slowdowns there were pretty frightening. At the fair, as you see, oh, that's the newest thing I didn't even tell you guys. Is all of a sudden I'm getting screen. See the screen went black and comes back in. That's the newest thing I'm getting. So we're starting to get that type of shit, you know. Let's go up here and let's go into the woods a little bit and show you guys some frames. If I can even get up this thing. Hopefully we can. So here's the grass areas. As you, I've told you guys before, the don't don't think the grass areas are so. Yeah, it's rendering in the grass as you're driving. But the grass area is, is just, you know, you, you try Crisis 3 and you'll see how much more, how much real grass should look like and stuff. But anyway, it's still in the, it's still in the 20s. You know, it's, I don't even know what to say about this card. I, it's a cool card. It's just not for me. I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't recommend buying it. I just wouldn't recommend buying it. When you have better options out there, you know, I'm sure the second generation of these cards with, uh, you know, more advancement will be even um, cooler and stuff. And can't you hear me coming? <laughs> can't you hear me coming? By the way, yeah, see this. This is the newest thing I'm getting, where the screen blacks out even on your desktop when you're on your desktop doing stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on with this card. You know, it's um. So yeah, yeah I want to let you know. Even while you're not gaming, that happens now. It's the newest thing that's been actually taking place for me as I've been uh, trying some gaming and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, I don't know, man. You know, if you're going to ask me, you know, I get questions. What would you rather use? I definitely would go with the 980 Ti. I just think it's more advanced, uh, you know, performance-wise and stuff. And only because I think I think it's more of the driver issues. And uh, I think NVIDIA just does a better job at optimizing their cards. I think that's it. Is this card as good as a 9? Oh, this is going to be a bad flip. Is, the God, is it as good as a 980 Ti? It's pro probably even better, technically. If they can make it run right, but they don't, you know. I mean, it's not running horribly anymore. We had some issues in that spot of the game. I don't know if there's, you know, if other people are getting issues in that spot of the game. But this car sounds pretty cool, man. Nothing for nothing. Running better over here. I mean, still into 23 frames in advanced. Um, and we're using 3.6 of usage. Let's go back off-road a little bit and see what goes on here. Oh, that's going to be nice. Nice flip. You know what's funny? How much abuse do we put these characters in in the game? You know, I like to go into the grass areas because it's the least optimized area of the games. They just didn't put as much into it, so kind of cool to check it out and stuff like that. Oh, nice. So anyway, that's, you know, this is where we're at at 4K with this game. We're going to try other stuff, but right now, if you're going to ask me what card to get, there's just no no-brainer. The 980 Ti is, is just... Um, it's it just runs way better, way smoother. 
you not you don't get these kind of hitches you would get in the beginning was weird i don't know i guess we got away from that area and it's running better now but um just amazing with, with the uh, let's take this guy down it's amazing let's see if we can go nice and airborne oh here we go <laughs> i love beating this guy up still got his sunglasses on i like to know how the hell he still got sunglasses on but anyway, that's that's a you know GTA with uh, advanced graphics on in 4K also.